I am David Zoper. Today I'll be walking through Cisco Intersight's operating system install feature. I'll start out by viewing current server configuration so I can see what sort of settings I'll need during OS install. From Intersight's dashboard, I'll choose one of the servers where I want to do an OS install. And looking at the server details page, I can go in and take a look at the server's inventory. This will give me an idea on boot devices that are present. Uh, the storage controllers those are under and what drives are actually present. So here I've got physical drives uh, in JBOD mode and I'll use that when I actually go in and do the OS install to tell the OS install feature where to install and what mode those drives are currently in. I'll also take a look at the UCS server profile here and this is just to double check policies like a boot order where I want to make sure that I've got something set up so that when that install is done it actually will have a good boot target and in this case I've got a local disk option and the slot specified that I want to be booting from. Now I'll go through the install of an operating system using Intersight. So on the general page in the upper right is an actions menu and from there I've got the install operating system. When I click that I'll start the process of picking out a server for install and then also going through configuration options. So on the operating system setup pages, um, I can go in and I can add an OS image link. This would be where I would actually specify the location of that operating system file. So I'd need it on a local file share. Um, in this example, I'm going to select one that I've already got ready to go. I'm going to search for VMware and I'm going to pick up an ESXi 7.0 update 3 image. Next is configuration setup and this is where I've got several options and a lot more details out on intersight.com slash help for how these operate. Um, custom is an option where I can pick up a custom Kickstarter answers file. I can select that from Intersight or I could have it on my local machine that I would upload. There's also an option for embedded, and this would be where that operating system ISO image already has everything needed for install, and that basically is the config file and answers file, or answers file already in that image. What I'll walk through here is using a Cisco validated template. So with the Cisco validated template, this is a ESXi 7.0 update 3 config file uh, hosted by Intersight and basically already ready to go where I can take a look at that on the right hand side and then I can set the configuration and what this will do is in that config file there's several variables and when I go fill this in it's going to do variable substitution back into that config file so I could specify static IP here I'm just going to use DHCP um, I'll set the host name I can configure network device VLAN and what those templates are doing is really again allowing the user or in this case using a Cisco validated using what Cisco has provided for variables and then the install feature will actually allow variable substitution in these menus. I'm doing this as a single server but this can also be done in bulk and again more details on that feature on the help pages. Now I'll go and set up the server configuration utility or SCU and this is really the automation framework that will actually go through and install and do configuration on the fly. So this is a pre-boot environment that will be loaded from an SCU ISO image. Just like an operating system image, I can go in and I can add an SCU link from the local file share. Or here I'm going to pick an existing one. And you'll want to check the versions that the SCU supports in terms of operating systems and hardware. I'm going to pick a 6.2.2 SCU image at this point. I'll go in now and set an installation target. And this is where when I was viewing the server's configuration, um, I can see which disks are possible targets. And like I showed in the inventory earlier, I have JBOD disks off of the MRAID controller. So that's what I'll set as the installation target. I'll take a look at the summary for install on this server. And I've got the operating system image. I've specified the SCU ISO my configuration source, which again is Cisco, and then the different config I've set up using that Cisco validated template. When I click install, I'll see the warning that it's going to overwrite any existing operating system. 
And when I go ahead with that install, I'll see that's successfully initiated. Back in the server's table views, I can go in and select my server. And under requests, I can take a look at the details for that operating system install flow and what's going on during the install. With the install started, I'll now view installation progress. And back in Intersight, I'll launch tunneled KVM on this server. And I can watch as the SCU loads and configures set up. This includes driver config where needed on that operating system install. And then we actually get into the ESXi installer and sped up in the interest of time. Eventually we end up with an installed version of ESXi with our settings. So the host name and other things I configured are all there on ESXi. Thank you. And again, check intersite.com help for more information.